You're watching Enterprise Nation TV with O2 Business. Okay, well, the first thing is uh, really the most fundamental thing, and that is to decide if you can do it yourself or if you need to get someone else to do it for you. Um, and the things that will help you understand that are how difficult is it? You know, are you looking to make a complex e-commerce website or do you just want an online brochure? How much money do you have? You know, do you have plenty of funds that it might be good to invest in going after a really good freelancer or design agency? Or do you actually not have much money and therefore need to do it yourself? And then how much time do you have? You know, is you, do you have to be live really quickly and therefore need to get an expert in? Or do you have enough time to be able to build your website yourself? So that the, the fundamental question you need to ask is, can I do it myself or do I need to get someone else to do it? And the second thing that, to bear in mind, and this is something to bear in mind whenever you're building your website, is what's the point of my website? What's the main objective? You need to have that objective in your mind all of the time when you're creating your site and make sure that you're communicating that objective to your visitor. Some, so often, uh, when you arrive on a website, that website asks the user to do lots of different things. It might be sign up to a newsletter, it might be to buy a product, it might be to att attend an event, it might be to look at the blog. And the problem is that when people are asked to do lots, when website visitors are asked to do lots of different things, they are faced with a dilemma, they don't know what to do and they might take the decision to leave. But if you're really clear about what you want your website visitor to do, because your objective is really clear, then you are going to find it much easier to, to, um, to be able to put together a website that works hard for your business. And then I think the third most important thing, and this is something that almost everyone skips, is get feedback from people about your site. You know, when you are building your website, you end up not being able to see the wood for the trees. You put so much effort in, you spend all your day looking at it, you can't any longer see whether it's any good or not if, if, if it's easy for people to use. So just get some friends and family and say, I'm just going to show you my website. I want you to tell me what goes through your uh, mind when you're using a website. I want you to tell me what you find easy and what you find difficult. Or maybe even set them a task, say, look, I want you to buy this product from me, or I want you to find that information on my website. Watch how they do it, see how they navigate, take some notes, because you'll quickly be able to see the things that your users find easy or find difficult, and then solve those problems, the ones that they find difficult.